Hey there, ready to explore the vibrant world of Cuba Street? Let's go on an adventure and discover all the hidden gems this lively street has to offer. From colorful storefronts to unique experiences, there's something exciting around every corner. Get ready for an unforgettable tour of Cuba Street. I'm currently at the intersection of Cuba Street at one of the ends, Cuba Street and Webb Street. I'm going to take you all along. I'm going to check out all the different stores and restaurants all along here. Most of them are going to be closed right now because it's pretty early. There's also quite a few art galleries. Here's a hair studio. There's an art gallery right up here. I'll show you in the window. It's also closed this time in the morning. I just crossed the street and right next to me here there's a Japanese dining, a, another hair studio, and I right before that on the street corner there was a barber shop too. Sweet Bakery and Cafe, Cakes and Shakes. Looks like it's under construction. Payday Beer Company. Looks like a brewery. Now I will say a weekday in the morning isn't the best time to come to Cuba Street because everything's still closed and there's a lot of construction going on. This kind of sucks. So this says dry cleaners, but online I saw that it was a restaurant and not a dry cleaners and now it's absolutely nothing. I thought that was pretty cool. It was going to be a dry cleaners that actually had a restaurant inside of it, but it has nothing inside of it. Another empty building. I don't know if that's a part of the, what was a part of the restaurant. We have the Wellington Sea Market. Oh yeah, they have so I'm going to bring you in there and check it out. Fresh seafood, everything. You could also order fish. Hello. Now just keep in mind, all these prices are New Zealand dollars, so. I didn't get anything in there, but not hungry right now. I just had breakfast a little bit ago. And that's also, I don't, I don't eat seafood in the morning normally. They had some pretty good prices for fried fish and stuff like that. And then the seafood was about regular price. This car stood out to me. This is really sick. Some type of Mercedes. I'm not sure what type it is. I could just walk around the back and see if it says. This is definitely an older Mercedes. Automatic transmission, the 350SL, and of course it's right-hand drive because we're in New Zealand. And it's just restaurants after restaurants down here. I'm assuming after maybe around noon, but probably after 4 p.m. is when most of these places open. Here's a, another bakery cafe type shop, I think. They've got some pinball in there. I didn't see a display case, otherwise I would have brought you in there, but I didn't see any bakery stuff. Right across the street there is a record store, but it is closed right now, sadly. School of Drawing, space suit, clothing store, okay, it makes sense. Uh, there's quite a bit of clothing stores right here, vintage kind of thrift stores even on the other side of the road and then there's another barber shop tons of restaurants a bakery and cafe and it's not open in the morning which is kind of weird another vintage store more barbers more restaurants seems that that's the theme down here so far Here's a bakery that I could bring you into and show you what they have. Ooh. Gelato. That all looks good. Seven dollars for a single, not too bad. Apple cinnamon looks really good. And they have a bunch of different sandwiches and coffees for sale. Croissants too. Mm. 
And if you're wondering, right there is the name of the store at Cafe Ace. I'm not sure how to say that. I probably just said it completely wrong. Across the street up here is a 24 hour convenience store cafe. I'm not sure. I'm gonna step inside here and check out what they have. Whoa. All different types of New Zealand pies. Those look really good. About five or six dollars each, not bad. And look at these donuts, wow. I'm, I'm getting hungry looking at these even though I just ate a little bit ago. All types of sandwiches and snacks. If you're ever in New Zealand, you guys gotta make sure to try this. This is the best candy bar I've had here so far. All the different chips and other snacks. Do they have Tim Tams? Yes, they do. Tim Tams are also really good. They show you all their energy drinks. They have some normal things that are in the U.S. and other countries, but then they also have some of their own that I haven't seen before. I'm not sure if v this V drink is anywhere else. The Up and Go, I haven't seen that before. I'm sure a lot of these are the same as in Australia, though. What type of sodas do they have? Mostly similar. Oh, there's the New Zealand exclusive Mountain Dew. Passion for Frenzy flavor. They have a lot of stuff in here, so it's like a big convenience store. Open 24 hours, which is convenient because not much stuff in New Zealand is open 24 hours. Walking through that store definitely made me hungry. It smelled so good in there and everything looked so good, but I'm gonna have to wait till later to eat something. But somebody just walked by. They were playing some of the worst, like the worst song I've ever heard. I'm pretty sure they made their own music. That was a character for sure. Oh, right up here is a bucket fountain. I saw that online. It's a, a staple here. Ooh, a comic book store. I don't know any of these characters. I know Batman on the comic books. I have no idea who those characters are. Some anime characters, Naruto, oh, those are Dragon Ball Z characters. I don't know, maybe you guys know more about these than me. There is the, the bucket fountain that everybody loves apparently. There is a vape coffee shop, I've never seen that before, it's pretty funny. A cosmic vape and coffee. Another clothing store. Surprise, there's actually one open. There's another clothing store over there. That's a chain here that's opened. Another one right here. All right, so there is some stuff open in the morning, especially when you go into the walkway area. More clothing stores. Oh, bookstore. Interesting. After walking for a tiny bit more, it just seems that there's more more name brand clothing stores, vans, sketchers. Not sure what this is, some dress store. Oh, there's a noodle house right here. Open seven days, 11 a.m. to 9, except it says it's closed on Sunday, so it's not open seven days. EB Games, I think, is like their version of GameStop. There's a Taco Bell on the corner up here. I'm gonna bring you a look at that. I think it's actually closed right now. Maybe not. Uh, it looks closed, there's nobody in there. But yeah, interesting Taco Bell to say the least. I'm gonna go ahead and cross the road here. And see what else there is on the street. Rebel Sport, which is a sporting goods store, sell clothes, sports equipment, all that stuff. I've been to those before in New Zealand. They even have NBA stuff. Charlotte Hornets jersey in there. I'm not sure who would want to buy that, especially in New Zealand. The Orlando Magic are definitely the best NBA team. We are nearing the end of the street. So I'm going to walk back the other direction in a second and see what else there is that I missed on the other side. Oh, they got a, a music store here, the Rock Shop. 
when I saw the rock shop online, I figured it was a store that sold like crystals and everything, not actual rock as in music. Nice little cafe container there. More clothing stores. I don't know any of these brands and I don't know if they're just like... Well, I know some of them. I know that I've seen them in other malls in New Zealand. On the end of Cuba Street where it intersects with Wakefield Street, or actually not on it, but right across the street, is a Wellington visitor information and loud noises. And right here is the infamous Wellington Town Hall. Uh, I think it's probably, I'm gonna put it up on the screen, but I think they've spent around $300 million renovating it so far. I'm not 100% sure the exact amount, but like I said, I'll put it on there. They keep doing repairs on it, and then after they do the repairs on it, they find out that it needs more because the building's not stable and doesn't meet codes and all that stuff. I'm headed back down Cuba Street the same way that I came from, and I'm gonna see if there's any stores that I can go in that are open now or any stores that I missed that you guys might want to see. The more I walk down the street, I think I realized I showed you guys everything that's open and closed already, but there's one more convenience store I'm gonna see if I can bring you into. Right across the street here is the last supermarket I haven't been in yet. I'm not sure if they'll have a problem with me recording in there. Hopefully they don't. But I gotta wait to cross here. Typical New Zealand stuff, always tons of ice cream. And then quite a bit of different selection in here for soda. Interesting sodas. Just kind of like the other store that I was in, but a little bit bigger, different brands. And household items. Nothing too special in here. Although they have, wait, do they have it? They have some interesting international flavors. They also have Dr. Pepper and W, which is not normally in New Zealand, so that's cool. International sodas over here. Unless you absolutely have to go to a convenience store to buy something in New Zealand, you should definitely wait till you go to the supermarkets because that convenience store had jars of peanut butter, and not just that convenience store, all the convenience stores do it. But there's jars of peanut butter you can buy at the supermarket for $1.79 New Zealand. And in that store they were six to ten dollars each. Yeah, six to ten dollars for the same jar that if you just go down the road to a pack and save, you can get for $1.79. That wraps it up for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like if you did and please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot and stay tuned to catch any of my future content.